hi guys welcome back to another video on my channel and in this video we'll be learning how to sew this corset loops so let's get into it so i'll be using this crepe fabric and also this back pattern pieces that i made in my previous video and if you want to learn how to make the pattern pieces all you have to do is just go and watch that video so with this design that we'll be doing i'll be taking some measurements off from the back pattern where the zipper extension would be in the middle one so i folded my pattern into two i didn't want to cut out or make another pattern piece so i just folded the pattern piece into two and then i proceeded to lay it on the fabric and cut it out i just want to cut out um our loops so what i do is i cut mine in a bias form so i'm looking for a biased area area so i can do that there let me check here uh -huh. this side is okay so i'm cutting the loops on a bias edge and a bias edge is where it stretches and this side stretches so i'm laying it here and i will cut it out At this stage i've already cut out the fabric and the lining and i lost the video i accidentally deleted that part of the video and i'm sorry about that so i already cut it out and joined it with the fabric i also sewn the loops and in here you could see i cut some small space where i could use my hairpin to turn the loops inside out and that's what i'm doing now and as you are pulling you don't have to pull it fast you have to do it slowly otherwise the fabric can get torn and the hairpin is going to get stuck inside so yeah and after i pulled it inside out i went ahead and ironed it after ironing i went ahead and marked my measurement on it so i started with a three quarter inch and a 1.5 inch continuously till we reach the end so it was three quarter 1.5 three quarter 1.5 to the end then i proceeded to sew it on my boning so here are the markings that we did with the pink chalk yes we'll join the lines together that's the line we'll be sewing on so with this first one you see i joined two lines together even though it's not all that visible so yeah you follow the markings that we did it will give an even loops measurements so this is how it looks after sewing it on the bone so what we'll be doing next is we'll be sewing it onto the back piece
this is the finished piece and thank you guys for watching and also please if you're new here subscribe share leave a comment and also like see you in the next video bye